Let's go ahead and talk about some games I've had and sold and I deeply regret not keeping some of them because game prices have gone crazy and some of these games, actually all of these games I have back in my collection but they cost me more than what I would have liked or I just got them in bundles and uh, got them later on but I wish I would have kept these games to be serious. First game we're going to start off with is Mario Party 3. Now I had this way back in the day when I was a kid and I ended up selling it probably for like a GameCube game that probably wasn't worth that much and I got rid of it. Then later on I picked it up from like a bundle or something. I probably paid like 30 bucks for it, maybe 25. Um, but about a few years ago, probably two or three, I sold it and I just was left with this copy. I had duplicates, like one or two of them, and I sold them for about 40 bucks. But when I look up the game prices of this game right now, you're looking at $57 loose from price charting. I'm a little bit sad because honestly, this is a great game and I know people are wanting it and the price is going up because of uh, N64 games being worth more and people playing games more at their house and all that. So I, I just think about all those times I traded this or I sold it for like 40 bucks or less. Uh, it's just a sad day because I could have had this in my collection still and probably have gotten rid of it and gotten probably double of what I could have back then. So I'm a little sad about this one. I definitely regret it. But if you don't have this in your collection, pick it up. It's not a regrettable game to have. It is an amazing game. I love all the Mario Party 3, 2, and 1. All three of them on the Nintendo 64. And so when I think about the fact that I had two or three of these, at one point, it just blows my mind. And now I'm down to this one. So I'm a little sad about that, and I regret selling it. Let's go ahead and stick with the Nintendo 64 for a second. I got one more game. Pokemon Stadium 2. Now, I never had this as a kid, and so when I got it probably seven or eight years ago, I enjoyed it, but for whatever reason, I didn't have enough enjoyment for keeping it in my collection. I sold a bunch of my Nintendo 64 stuff probably four or five years ago, and so Pokemon Stadium 2 was one that got sold. I didn't play it. I hadn't played it in a while. So I was like, ah, I have the first one, I'll keep the first one, but I'll get rid of the second one. So um, time goes by and I never pick one up until actually recently. This is one that doesn't have an in label because I haven't added this to my collection. But back when I sold this, I sold the, it for like 40 bucks again, like the other Nintendo 64 game. Um, but like this is worth $77 according to price charting. So like. I could have doubled my money if I would have kept it, but I'm glad I have this one because honestly this one was free. I ended up picking up that $300 um, Facebook Marketplace and this was in it. And so I'm glad that this was in it because realistically I didn't have to pay for this. I sold all the other stuff and made some money. So I basically got this game free. So I'm not complaining, but I definitely regret selling the other copy because I had this one and I hadn't played it for so long and it was one of those games that I was like I need to go back to this I want to go back to this but I just didn't have it in my collection at the time now I do and I'm really happy about it because I really did regret selling it okay so I've sold a ton of games and I find a ton of games um, especially for the Wii uh, at thrift stores and Goodwills and I ended up flipping most of them and I sell them pretty quickly but one game I wish I hadn't done this with and I would have like sat on it for a little bit was Mario Kart Wii because this game is worth currently on price charting complete because this one's complete. It is worth $31. I cannot tell you how many times I've had this game, paid four bucks for it at the Goodwill and ended up selling it for 20 or 22 bucks. That's a shame, like this is an amazing game and I feel like the price of this game is only going to go up because the Wii games are going up in the future so be prepared for that. And I think I'm gonna hold on to the extra copies of this that I get, but wow, I could have been making like five to 10 bucks more on each one of those, those games had I kept them around. I'd probably have sold like 10 or 15 of them because I always see this at the thrift store. So this is a game that I wish I would have kept these copies because 
I've literally had so many of them and I've sold them and if I would have had 10 of them and I would have kept them I would have had an extra hundred bucks from selling them um, but I'm not gonna complain too much this is an amazing game if you have it in your collection awesome if you don't have it in your collection and you have a Wii why don't you add this game it's absolutely amazing and quite frankly it's a game that you should definitely have in your collection so that's why I regret selling all of those copies because I know there's been a ton of them that I've just sold really quickly to get profit quickly, but if I would have held on to them, I would have made a lot more money. What do you guys think about this one? Let's go ahead and talk about Mario Kart a little more, because let's be honest here, there's a ton of great Mario Kart games, and this one is no different. Mario Kart Double Dash, I cannot tell you how many of these I've bought and sold, and there's one that comes to mind that bugs me the worst. Now. This game currently being complete, which this one is, is worth about $75, which is a good price. This is an amazing game, and the GameCube games are going crazy right now. But I have found this game for $3 at a local thrift store. But it gets worse. I paid 3 bucks, which is awesome. I ended up selling it for $35. I'm really, I'm really distraught about this one because... I sold it for $40 less than what it is worth. Now, let's be honest here. It was like six months before the prices of the GameCube shot up in value. So I couldn't have seen that happening. It wasn't going up at that price or at that time the price wasn't going up. It was just kind of staying the same. But I lost out on 40 bucks alone because I just was quick and sold it. Now. I've sold these a few times, maybe five, maybe ten times. I've found these at the thrift stores or somewhere else and picked them up and flipped them in order to grow the game collection. But like, $35 for this game would have been an amazing pickup, but I know I didn't pay more than five bucks for this one. So am I complaining too much? No, but I really, really wish I still had that one. Three bucks into 35 was a great deal, but it would have been better if it was three into 75. All right, we've got to finish this one up with the game that I sold and have lost the most money on. Um, if I would have kept them, this game would have been worth way more than I expected it to. And I can tell you for a fact, I bought Chrono Trigger two or three times for a hundred bucks and have ended up selling it on. Thankfully, I kept this copy this is currently worth just the cartridge alone is worth 200 bucks that's absolutely crazy to me i know i've sold at least two of these around the time when it was 100 to 115 dollars and wow if i'd have kept those i would have been super stoked i could have bought like five extra normal games compared to selling those off back then so I'm a little disappointed when I look at this one and think, wow, I used to have this game uh, and multiple copies, and now I'm down to one copy, and it's worth $200. That just blows my mind. So I am definitely most regretting this game being sold. Now, I'm pretty sure at some point I sold an Earthbound as well, and that's gone up in value uh, enormously as well, but I still got a good chunk of money for that one, so... It didn't rank out as much as this one, but I will say Earthbound and Chrono Trigger kind of were tied or close to being the same, so add that one in as an honorable mention. But Chrono Trigger for 100 bucks is an amazing deal because it's going for 200 which just is crazy to me. So those are the games that I have bought and sold and I regret selling them. So if you guys have any games you regret selling, comment down and let me know. But those are a few that I do and I wish I would have kept those. But that's all I got for you. Peace.